Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at Birkenen, also known as Bjork and Bjarkan. This rune is the rune for the birch tree. The birch tree is a really interesting tree. After the ice sheets receded after the ice age from Europe, from Northern Europe in particular, um, especially Scotland and the Northern UK, as well as the Nordic countries, this was the first tree that took root on the flat plains, um, so before there was almost like a tundra. So this was the first tree that took place and it is often seen as the tree of purification and renewal of life and the start of new life after the last ice age. It is known in many cultures, particularly in the Celtic and the Norse cultures, as the tree of birth and new beginnings and I suspect it's to do with it being this pioneer species and being the first one to come up. It is used in besoms, and if you don't know what a besom is, um, think of the broomstick from Harry Potter <laughs> and that being the old-fashioned type of broom, that's a besom. To protect and clean away bad spirits and spring clean. There are a number of different thoughts as to why this is. Um, one of them is that because this tree contained the energy of the god Lu, which used to... Um, have a sort of protection energy that that's what it was used for but anyway that's this is the traditional wood used for the broomstick and to clean things away and to purify because it's the tree of birth and new beginnings and because it's associated with both Freya and Frigg um, it is also linked to fertility and due to these connections it was often used for making children's cots and toys and finally, it was also thought um, to be used to mark the boundary between this world and the next, whatever the querent believes the next world is after death and people have moved on. So let's take a look at Birkenen in synchronicity. And actually, before we do, it's probably worth pointing out that the stave shape um, is thought by some people, if you look at it side on as the lower part of the B, um, being a belly and the top part being the breast. I've also heard of it being one of them being the womb and the other one being the tomb and you turn it on its back. Um, so you've got both mounds, you've got a birth mound and a burial mound. So Birkenen in synchronicity is thought to rec represent someone who's a pioneer, who's ahead of their time, they come up with new inventions, new ideas, they're creative, they're a visionary, they come up with new project, projects, they have lots of goals that might seem really lofty and out there, but they will achieve them. So um, in the modern world, think of the kind of Elon Musk type, no one really thought up about PayPal, but he managed to come up with it and he comes out with some um, pretty out there ideas and some of them work. But you need that kind of person in order to bring through creativity and to bring invention. So it's not just about birth in the physical sense of bringing you through a human. It is birthing new ideas and projects and creativity. It's also, you know, this person who's not afraid of new things and is an explorer. So it may be that this rune is indicating travel of some description. And because it's in synchronicity, it will be a positive experience. This rune could also relate to fertility, gardening, pregnancy and birth, all the actual um, new life type themes where you are literally bringing through a new life and whether it's expected or not it will be a new life of some description that is of benefit to the querent in some way or you know happy news. It may also represent a time or the need to spring clean for purification, for getting rid of what's needed and what's not healthy. It might be a physical spring clean of their environment in some way. It might be the tidying out of a desk drawer. It might be um, redecorating. It might be having a spring clean in their mind about the way they view a situation. Um, it might be having spring clean of friendships and saying, you know what, this friendship group isn't a great one for me. Um, if they are into spiritual pursuits, 
it might be spring cleaning those, it might even be choosing to work with different guides. It's a real opportunity to review, start from fresh and get rid of the old um, and bring in the new. It is also a rune of protection, of nurturing and looking after others, um, the sense of nurturing this new life until it can, um, if the project is at completion or until it's able to look after itself. So it's not just the be being able to come up with new ideas, but the sense of being able to nurture them through the um, tender stage until they're able to look after themselves or be self-sustaining whatever that is whether it's a baby whether it's a project um, it's it's being there for all the key parts until it's self-sustaining and it could also represent the ability to contact those in other realms whatever that looks like for the querent so if there's someone following the Norse paradigm then it might be being able to contact those in Helheim or um, one of the other planes of existence or one of the other realms of existence if it's someone who um, works as a medium it might be being able to contact spirits etc so whatever it might look like for the querent Working in an opposition um, can represent someone who has left behind all the trends, they refuse to innovate, they refuse to stay up to date with people, they can be technological Luddites, so it's it could be the person who, whilst we're all using smartphones, refuses to even have a mobile phone, or they do have one, um, but it's a bit of an event and a palaver if they get a text message um, and they need five people to help them. It could be not just technological, but someone who is genuinely resistant to change and evolution. It could be someone who does not like new ideas, new ways of doing things, likes things to stay as they are. They don't do well with change. They don't like to experiment. They don't like to see if they can continuously improve. They do things as they have always been done because that worked for them. And I remember working for someone who refused to use Excel and would rather print off reams and reams and reams of paper which just felt so incredibly wasteful and then go and add it up with a calculator which was just so painful to watch when you know in the same amount of time I think it took him three days or so to do that and you know the rest of us just used to use excel and do a sum up formula so it was very very frustrating to watch and this is prime example of Birkenen in opposition. It could be someone who is unable to imagine a future that is different to now. This person may have escaped a really difficult situation, they may have some trauma, but it's really hard for them to picture anything better because they're so used to being downtrodden. And they need some support, they need help to realise that, that whatever is happening, that's not the only way their life can go. They don't deserve you know, miserable life, they deserve to be happy, they deserve things to go well, and they just need someone to tell them that, they just need a little bit of tender loving care, maybe depending on what their situation is, you may need to refer them to a professional to help them with therapy, or maybe they just need, you know, a little bit of um, a push or a nudge, they're overall okay mentally, there's no big situation going on, they're just feeling a bit stuck and they can't see their way out of the rut and maybe doing a vision board or having some life coaching would be more appropriate for them. Maybe you can do that in the context of the reading, maybe not, it's up to you. So it could also represent travel to new places, but this will be stressful travel or travel that doesn't go well. It might be someone who's gone off to a new business somewhere um, and it's not going to work out or maybe they've entered a country where a bribe is expected um, and they've got to somehow get themselves out of that difficult situation. It's, it might be that the travel itself just doesn't go well, so the plane's delayed and then cancelled and then they ended up spending a night at a hotel and they're just feeling ratty and gross because they haven't washed all day and they haven't eaten any proper food and they haven't been able to do anything, they've just been waiting. So it could be travel that doesn't go well or that's not in the clearance best interest. 
Unfortunately, it can also mean infertility, miscarriage, reproductive health issues or STIs. It could also represent breast health issues. Again, be careful with medical readings. Um, this could just be an indication if the querent is thinking about this and they're asking for a health reading, it might be that this comes up as a nudge to get them to go and see a doctor and that is the most appropriate thing to do see an appropriate doctor um, to go and get checked out it could also be that they have just recently had a miscarriage or they are suffering from infertility and they do need a bit of emotional support if that's something that you offer through your readings great it might be that you need to refer them on. So again, just be aware with health issues, the sensible thing is to refer out. And if it's relating to yourself and you see this come up, um, please don't see this room if you're trying to conceive and you've been unsuccessful or if you've had a miscarriage and think that this is a sign that you're only ever going to be unsuccessful or have a miscarriage. It could mean lots of other things um, and you can also use this rune as like a little token or a talisman to help with fertility issues too. It could also be someone who's refusing to have a clear or a clean out, someone who's a bit of a hoarder, someone who's not willing to organise their, their things. Um, so if this is happening, it's time for them to let go, to clean out, to purify and to get their overall environment to feel a lot better. It could be uh, feeling or actually being unprotected in some way, feeling or not actually being nurtured or looked after. It might be that they had parents who were more interested in other things. It might be um, that they're not being looked after at work, their manager never trained them, they've been left to fend for themselves. It might be that they don't have very good quality friends. Um, or it might be, you know, it's a perceived thing, they do have support, they're just not willing to see it, they're not willing to ask for it, or they're just stuck in this victim mentality and can't see all the support that's being thrown at them. It could also be an ability to contact those in other realms in a way that disturbs the querent. Um, so I have come across people that um, say that they've had mediumship type experiences and abilities but it's really disturbing for them and they don't want it. And in that case it's worth um, learning to shut that off, turn it off, um, protect yourself, create barriers. Um, in very, very rare cases, this could also be psychosis, um, in which case they do need a referral to a mental health practitioner of some description because it will interfere with their ability to look after themselves and live a healthy, happy life. As I said, that is rare. In most cases, it's a case of people opening up their psychic channels and they're like, oh, well, this really weird thing happened and I'm... I'm kind of trying to figure out what to do about it. Um, I, I've not had anyone come to me where it's been a, a long-term ongoing thing where they haven't sought help. It's usually it's happened two or three times and now they're thinking, you know, what can they do about it? Um, so teaching them how to shut off, how to create barriers, um, how to protect themselves can be really useful in this situation. So I hope you found that useful. As with the other runes, do spend some time reflecting on it and seeing how you think you could interpret it. Um, and also fill in your worksheet or your journal and let us know in the Facebook group what you've come up with.